for God. We need to change our behavior. We need to change our attitude. We need to change our discipline. The church of God in Christ is a very strong church. But we've got to bring ourselves to a level of understanding that we have to get along with one another. It matters not what your position is. You may be credentialed. You may have been in this church for 40 years. But I want you to know that that does not give you the right to look down your nose at somebody else who hasn't been in here for a while. The issue, the issue is not longevity. I said the issue is not longevity. The issue is obedience. If you be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the name. That's what it's all about. We're asking God, God, why don't I have this? And why don't I have that? And, and when are you going to do this? And what's wrong, God? Can you not deliver? God is saying to you, I can do anything. I can do all things. I won't fail in anything. But you're not waiting for me. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. God is waiting for us. He's waiting for us to change. What kind of change do we need to make? If it's radical, it ought to be toward him and not away from him. If it's radical, it ought to be consistent with his word. I'm telling you right now, those of us who have not been praying, we need to go back to praying. Those of us who have ceased from fasting, we need to go back and fast. Those of us who have problems with hope, we need to get it straight with him. If you have grudges in your heart against anybody, you ought to get it straight. I'm telling you what God wants to have happen. If you have some habits, you need to get rid of your habits, put them aside, and get yourself together and tell the Lord, I want to be a vessel used of you. I want your anointing to flow in me. I want your power to emanate in me. I want to be what you want me to be. I don't know how you feel, but I'm rather tired of just having some of what belongs to me. I'm tired of hidden and missing. When I speak, I want to know that I'm speaking as an oracle of God, that he's behind what I have to say. I want to know that I'm all right, and I don't want anything to happen that will cause me to not be connected with him. Therefore, I must work on my connectional relationship with him. And I want to make sure that I'm able to represent him well. Aren't you tired of being half blessed? Aren't you tired of just getting just a little of what you need? You ought to want God to do more for you than just to pay your bill. You want God to do more than just pay your car note and your house note. Praise God. Don't you want to be in position that you don't have to worry about a mortgage? You don't have to worry about a car note? You don't have to worry about clothing bills? Don't you want the blessings of God to flow in your life to the extent that you know that all if we serve a God who's more than enough, then we ought that sometimes have more than enough. But then he, he looks at us and he says, I see where you are. And somebody has been praying. Somebody has been fasting. Sometimes it doesn't take the whole church, although he would that the whole church would do it. But sometimes it just takes the remnant to begin to deal with some things. And then he'll talk to us. And here he says, and I'm closing, I am the Lord, your Holy One, the creator of Israel, 
your king. He has established the fact that although, although Judah was arrogant in her ways, he says, I want you to know I'm yet your God. See, one of the things that we have to understand, and that is that you got some brothers and sisters who are in the church, and they may not measure up to the level of responsibility that you think they ought to. But you cannot afford to discord them because they too belong to God. The devil wants you to feel that God will abandon you because you make a mistake. But I want you to know that the reason why the devil works on us so because we will say, I've never made one. But when you tell them the truth, I made a mistake, whatever that mistake may have been. But I also repented. And when you repent, God is right there for you to lift you alone and bring you to a place where you ought to be. In this scripture tonight, as I close, he said, 